and back in the post game here with head coach Kathy Rayleigh after the 14-13 loss in overtime. I know that's a tough loss oh. to take, but what a great game it was. So yeah. just overall thought. My overall thought is I'm really proud of the improvement that our squad made in in a week's time. Um you know, we we always play pretty good def de defense. We don't like to play too much of it because it tires us out. But what I'm most proud of right now is I thought we fixed some things in the clear. There were still some iffy moments, but it's early in the season. Um, we took 30 shots, and our goal today was to take 30, 30 shots. Yep. And, you know, any game where you have 12 cause turnovers, where you are taking the ball from a very powerful offense with Washington College, of all, you know, so many returning players and, and experienced players, and we're taking the ball time after time after time, uh, you know, combined with a really great game by Reagan uh, Torbert that we – there's so much positive uh, to to for me to kind of take in, and I hope the team to take in, that we can move forward and become even better a week from now. We're going to be a team to contend with. We just we just have to dot some I's and cross some T's. Well, and that's what the early yeah, season is yeah. for, especially the non-conference. We had a chance to talk during the week before mm -hmm. the game, and one of the things that you wanted to work on, which I think we saw today, was offensive chemistry. Yes. So not only the 30 shots, mm -hmm. but the but the balanced scoring. Talk a little bit about that. You, you, you've you got to have power from everywhere. You can't have just one or two people that go to goal, and we had a lot of different shooters. We had a lot of different goal scores and multiple goals by a lot of different people. That is, that's enormous. And we had some freshman breakthrough, you know, getting some goals and doing some really nice things uh I'm really happy with how we moved the ball I thought had a lot had our shots gone in that first quarter like we wanted them to uh where their goalie was playing so strong and we weren't necessarily following our game plan of where we wanted to shoot but we were at least shooting and then to have the team kind of run into that roadblock of what the goalie was doing <clears throat> excuse me and make those changes I am just super proud of making them in real time um, realizing that you know you can't you can't run towards that goalie and shoot it. You have to you know kind of sweep across the crease and and they just did it tremendously. So I thought we were really good at learning on the fly today. And you know when you play a game where you have a deficit, you you're in a deficit and then you climb back and you're in a deficit and you climb back. That shows a lot of heart. And it shows a yeah. lot of it shows a lot of resilience as well. Yes. We're going to talk to Sophia Murray yes, in just a minute, who had a terrific game yes, today indeed. on both ends of the field. Uh -huh. uh, tell me about her and what she was able to contribute. We today. can't wait for Sophia to realize that she should be scoring three or four goals a game. <laughs> okay. um, you know, to have someone that just is has excelled on the defensive end of the field and turned her into that midi, that D midi combo. Uh, she's impossible to defend. Uh, she brings a component to, to the offense that we really want to, 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 uh, not exploit, but take advantage of. Um, and it takes pressure off of Kara. And, and that's, you know, Kara's able to to get a few goals because they're not just all zeroed in on what she's, she's doing. So, you know, having that balance, but Sophia just, I'm so happy that she looked like an attacker today. Mm. And yeah. as far as the defense is concerned, just kudos all the way around. Uh, yeah. But talk a little bit about your goalkeeper today, Reagan Torbert, who yes. I don't know if 16 saves is a career high or not, but she definitely had yeah. a career game today. She had a career game today, and she, she has been putting in um, exceptional performances all the way through. Uh, she's getting – I thought today there was a significant increase in, in her stopping free positions, but I also think – because we had such powerful defense around the, the girl that was taking the free position, it allowed Reagan to zero in on when it was when it was going to be shot. You know, she's she's a great a great keeper. We we need her to continue to work on her clearing abilities, and she puts the clear together with her save percentage and and the kinds of saves she's making. Um, there'll be no doubt that she's the best goalie in, in in the conference. But we need to make sure that she she adds that second component, which she's getting better with. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So we're going to switch out here, I believe, yes. and bring Sophia yes. in. I can't wait right. to talk Thanks, to her. Gary. Kathy, always right. a pleasure. Right. I'll see you in a couple right. weeks. Thanks. Okay. So Sophia Murray is coming in, number 33. First chance I get to interview with her. Hi. Hi. Great game. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> okay. Just give me an overall thought um, about how you fit today and what Coach was telling you and how it all came to be. Um, honestly, I think our team – the energy today was unmatched. I mean, with any mistake, anything that happened on the field, we all rallied around each other. Everyone had each other's backs and it was always, all right, move on to the next one. No one hung their heads. And we really just 
it was everyone working together, honestly. A lot of times it's been individuals kind of trying to do different things, but we worked so well together today. And yeah, it, it's, yeah. Absolutely, and for, and for you personally, I mean, here you are, you know, first time with the team, basically. Just talk about how you've kind of ingrained yourself and what kind of a confidence builder today's performance is. <laughs> Oh yeah, today today was uh, pretty awesome. But honestly, it's kudos to my teammates. I mean, I came in here as a straight defender, haven't played attack in probably four years, and so just having literally having them tell me where to go, helping me, telling me like what I need to fix and practice and everything else like that. Everyone's so helpful. They always have such good advice, and so it, literally, it's just starting to click because we all have such good chemistry and everyone is working to get the the best advantage for the next person. So, and, so yeah. a question, before the season started, did you know that you were going to be an attacker or was that a, like, was that a surprise for you? Um, It was kind of mentioned, mm. but I think it was very much solidified once we got into practice into fall ball and everything that they said, okay, all right, you know, figure out how to be a midi. So, gotcha. <laughs> um, but yeah, so fall ball is probably what, when it solidified that we were going to try to figure out how to do that. Uh, Ka Kathy and I talked during the week. So Baltimore never gets snow anymore. But we got that one week of snow, which couldn't have timed any worse because you guys were starting your practice. Maybe it was 10 days. I don't know. But from your perspective, A, what did you guys do when it snowed? And did it actually you know, affect your ability to, to prepare for the season? Mm. I mean, honestly... Cold is always, it's a challenge. And be, having practice out in, you know, I don't know, it was like 15 degree weather, right. something, our first outdoor practice we had, it was great. I mean, just being out there, all the girls were ready to be out there. And even when we couldn't be outside when we had those snow days and everything else like that, everyone was just very adaptable. It was, okay, are we gonna be stuck inside? All right, we're still gonna have a great practice. We're still gonna do everything we need to do. And everyone just kind of rolled with the punches and you can see, because even this is our third game, and we've already started to have such good chemistry all together. But, yeah, we're, yeah. we're adaptable. <laughs> Sounds good. So 33 had three goals today. She had a big cause turnover late. It was just a great game for you guys all around. I know a loss is a loss, but there were a lot of good things to come out of this one. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple of weeks, and best of luck to you. Thank you, you too. That is Sophia Murray. I'm Gary Stein, and this is GoMustangSports.tv.